So guys, it's finally warming up. It's still cold downstairs and I have red hair. Also, I apologize if my talking skills are sort of way out of whack. You will figure out later on why I am totally extremely out of it. Okay, so before I start my sort of rantish thing, I'm going to talk about something like a little bit more serious and saddening and stuff. Eh. Anyway, I don't know if you guys remember, but a few vlogs back I had my cat, my older one, Grayson, and she has not been doing well at all. Grayson's really old, she's about 18 now, almost 18, like less than a month. But she's been having a ton of breathing problems, and she actually, by the time I put this up, she probably won't be with us anymore. And I mean, it's really sad because, well, first off, she's older than I am, and she's been here my whole life. We didn't have her the whole time. She used to be our neighbor's cat, and we sort of adopted her because my neighbors were moving out and stuff and she had always come over to our door and waited right outside our door, door stoop and we'd have to like shimmy our way out and just, like do a dance to get out so that she wouldn't come in so she after she came over she was like right at home so we had her and I think it's a good thing that we got her because otherwise she probably would have died already but anyway I mean it's really sad and everything can't say that it isn't but it's something that happens, I guess. So, I mean, just everybody remember her, I guess, even though most of you guys didn't know her. Anyway, after all of that, I'm going to sort of brighten up a little bit, except not really, because what I'm going to talk about is still a tragedy. Tests. I know, I know, don't cry yet. I'm going to get to all of the very terrifying parts later. But anyway, the reason why I am absolutely totally out of it today is because I have had AP testing. For those of you that don't know, AP stands for Advanced Placement, and it's basically you just take a more rigorous course throughout the year, um, for schools that do GPA things, it's normally worth more, like a higher GPA because of that. And at the end of the year in May, you have a sort of final exam where you go to a testing center for three hours and take the test in whatever subject it was. It's pretty terrifying. Anyway, this year I had four APs in three days. The first day I had two tests, then a day after, well... There was a day in between, then I had another one, and then another day in between, I had my last one. And by the end, I was telling people that they would have to drag me out and take me to, like, the mental institution or something. Because even before that, I was laughing at everything. I was so out of it. My teachers all were worrying about me and were like, hey, are you going to, like, die or something from utter exhaustion? And I was like, yeah, probably. And, I mean, tests, I understand how tests can show how well you've learned something. Because in homework, you can always just, like, Google it or, like, go get your answers from somebody else or just not do it and you might still get a good score if you do one of the first things, but you'll have no idea what you're doing. So the test actually shows how you, how well you know the material. What I don't like about it is that they're so tiring, and especially with APs, they're all clumped together. And I imagine that finals in like other high schools and college, those would be the same. It's absolutely insane and utterly stressful and just like, oh my god. Like, it's literally gotten to the point where one of my teachers has been like, yeah, don't ask her anything. She's sort of really out of it and probably needs a, like, eight-year vacation on an island now. So basically, the week of AP testing and the time before it, here is how it goes. First, you have teachers going absolutely nuts about it. Um, so they're there giving you all of this homework and you have to do this and this and this and this in class and you have to do all of these practice, released AP tests and free responses, multiple choice, and they give you all of this work, so you're at home up really late and going crazy already, and the tests haven't even started yet. And in 
In addition to that, some classes don't really prepare you that well. So if you want to actually do well on the test, you have to go and do extra studying. So you are there just buried in review books, trying not to die or suffocate in the sheer amount of paper that is in your face and the teachers just keep on giving you more. And so then it gets close to the AP tests themselves, and the teachers are all like, hey, yeah, you need to get sleep. And you're just like, how the f am I supposed to get sleep if I am here surrounded in work that if I don't do before, like, tomorrow, I'm going to get, like, an F in this class? So all of that happens, hopefully you manage to get some sleep. For at least us, we have to wake up earlier to get to the testing areas, and once we get there, there's like a drive, fairly long drive there, and there might be traffic on the way, except not really because they live in the middle of nowhere, but if there is traffic, that's really stressful, and so you get there, and the worst part is you wait outside, you wait in line outside of the testing center. Like, how stressful is that? You're already there and you just want to go in and get it over with, but instead you get to sit there and reflect on everything that's going to be on the test and everything that you're probably going to forget about the second you step foot in the center. And then you just sort of... So after you get into the test, you get to sit down beside somebody who is probably a stranger at this table and they might do annoying things such as drum their fingers, kick the edge of the table, hit the edge of the table in some other way, make a ton of noises or something like that. And in addition to the possibility of the person annoying the shit out of you, you might be afraid that you're going to be doing exactly that. So you might spend the whole test worrying, oh my god, am I going to sniffle too much? I have to cough, but I've already coughed one and a half times. Oh! So you're there doing the test, you have all of these questions, and you might remember them, you might not remember them. So if you felt good, then you come out for break between the multiple choice and the free response, and you could be like, hey, that wasn't too bad, you know, I'm, I survived so the free response might not be as bad. Or you come outside and cry in someone's arms. Could be a total stranger, but you go and cry in their arms. So then you go back in for the free response sections and you are sitting there and you might get worried about time or you might not be worried about time but the person beside you is still annoying the shit out of you. And so you're there and then you finish it eventually and then you realize, oh my god, I'm finished. Hallelujah! But then, as it was with my case, you still realize that you have three more to go. And the first day I realized that I still had one more to go in the afternoon, and so by the end of that I forgot what my birthday was. So basically, by the end of the two weeks of AP testing, you've had all of those tests, you're absolutely exhausted, so you're sitting in class and you basically just end up sounding like this the whole time. Lol. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Lol. So basically, even though I can see how tests are needed and are beneficial for people to evaluate, they're also sort of extreme stress that doesn't really help anybody. And by the end, you might be so stressed you can't do well. But once you finish, it's pretty fine. At least for me, I don't really get worried about it. It's just like, it's turned in. I can't do anything about it now. I just wait to see what I got. So... Basically now we all just get to wait until June or July, I think it's July, to figure out our scores, which is, the scores are based from 1 to 5, and if you get a 3 or above then you're passing, but if not then bye bye. So basically now you know where I have been and why I haven't really been posting videos that much lately, because I have been sitting in a corner crying about an extreme amount of tests. <laughs> and crying about my cat. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, hopefully I will be back on a normal schedule in the next few weeks, although I am leaving to go to China, my homeland, not really, I was born here. Um, at the end of June, so I will tell you guys more about it when it gets closer. But for now, I will hopefully see you guys next week. I'm sorry about the whole 
fiasco with last week's video. Final Cut Pro just totally spazzed and sort of got rid of it. But anyway, as always, make sure you go to my Tumblr or my Twitter. Both of them are Here's Noman. And you can also subscribe. Click here if you haven't done so already. And I am still accepting questions for my q and I'm not quite there yet. But, um, whenever you guys feel like you have a question to ask me, then go ahead. Even if it's a totally stupid question, still ask me. And anyway, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like if you enjoyed this video and also go watch my other videos and everything. So I will see you guys next week and I love you all so much. Bye bye.